In the energy value chain, everybody's looking at digital. What does it mean for their companies? This is true for the production, for the network and for the retailers. We work with the network companies. For them, digital is a logical next step. They went from smart metering to smart grids and now they realize that smart grids means more data availability, more digital transformation of the companies towards digital. And that's what we work on in the close collaboration with one of our chair partners, KPMG. So, what are the challenges? What to do? <laughs> the main challenge that I see digital posing to ESB is twofold, I think. It's around big data, so it's properly utilizing the benefits that big data can provide to our company. The other part is more external. How can we help uh, the uh, energy transition, the energy market, and I would even say the citizen and the economy, because it's open, about an open data and giving access to the data we manage. Uh, you need to have a big change in all the systems and all the mind mindsets of the people. Uh, and that could be hard to do um, in parallel with the daily operation. There will be microgrids, there might be off-grids, uh, there will be electrical vehicles. If you look a little bit further into the future uh, and suddenly the whole street fills up with electrical vehicles and they will all charge at 6 o'clock when all those vehicles come, uh, come home and start cooking uh, and it's electrical cooking then the grid will sort of explode. We have to think about smart solutions to avoid that situation. In the energy sector, we hear companies talk about ecosystems more than ever before. What's happening there is that they are realizing that there's four new realities. The first reality is indeed that experience has become value. That's your customer's experience, all the way down the line, up to the level of the smart city. Your customer has become a moving target, so you'll have to staple yourself to the customer. This you will do with data, big and open data. You will have to go to that customer in alliances. It's ecosystems that co-create new value in the digital economy. And last but not least, and this is a very important reality for DSOs and TSOs, for example, in the energy sector. It's your digital platforms, your architectures of digital services that really will create new value underneath your ecosystems.